Let's worship the King of Glory, the Creator that was not created. People worshiping. Every time we worship God, His presence comes down. In the manda libranda yana nando shataba yana nedesh. I kalibra kotonda la ba yana nana nando bush. I elebonta yana nana nando bush. I kapaya ne mosotonda la ba tayata. Hey Jesus, we worship you. Cause you are ready, cause you are ready to fall on me. Eri mo shata. Somebody call Baba. Worship him. My anantola ba shata ndere bush. Ene ne ne. Eh mo yene nona. Imayene mo shakata. Mondo ila kwa tayanama. Eh, let him hear you say Baba oh. Ayana mando bria la kota. Meshe kete brono mosinda la baj. Baba oh. Mayene montai. Ikalabande bro shakata yarama. Worship this good God. Mayene monta la bayarama. The King of glory. The ancient of days. The lily of the valley. The bright and the morning star. Yele montai la konta la baya. Inenene nana. Mmm. Oh. Oh, oh, Father, we are calling you. We want your presence, oh God. Lekonda, shakonda. People join me to worship him. Yes, worship this God. Hey. Oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lekonda, Rosh. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Let it be an outpouring of your spirit, O God, Father. Let the sick be healed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Oh, Somebody worship him. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. oh. Glory to God in the highest. Every time we worship God, his presence comes down. And it is the presence of God that you need in this life. To end every pressure in your life. It is the presence of God that makes you to enjoy preservation in, the, in life. Not the police. Not the soldiers that can protect you or preserve you. It is His presence. If you carry the presence of God, you are going to enjoy rest in life. God was speaking to Moses. He said, my presence will go with you. And you will have rest. <laughs> it is the presence of God that gives you rest in life. And I decree by the anointing of the spirit of God. As the presence of God envelop you today. You will enjoy rest in life. You will enjoy rest in business. You will enjoy rest in marriage. You will enjoy rest in your career. Every aspect of your life, you will enjoy rest. Father Lord, I pray for my viewers today. I ask, oh God, that your presence will envelop us. And you will cause us to enjoy rest after the order of Jehoshaphat. In the precious name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much. I can see Shasha already. Krista, thank you so much. I'm waving back at you. I hope you can see me. 
Thank you. I can see every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, my very good sister, Sandra. <laughs> Miss <Mrs>. East. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can see every one of you. Thank you. I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you that sent in your comment, your contribution in the course of the week. Thank you so much. Ajayi, Mr. Ajayi, prayed for me. He said, may God strengthen you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ajayi, for your prayers. And Mike has said to me, I am enjoying everything. The Lord is using you to teach us on this platform. Thank you, Mike, for your wonderful contribution and comments. I appreciate every one of you. I cannot be calling all the names. A lot of people. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. Please, uh, don't make sure you don't call because if you call me, there's going to be an obstruction. I'll not be able to reach out to my audience. Or, or, or Lola <laughs> Tony. Thank you so much, Tony, for watching me. Thank you so much. I can see every one of you, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. And if you are joining me for the very first time, my name is Mrs. Favor Vitri. I am the founder of Understanding Life. Every Sunday by 6 p.m. on the dot, I'm on this platform, and I do three things. I preach the word of God on this platform. I talk about every issue of life on this platform and I help people to write and pass the exam of life so that they can be happy and enjoy life. A lot of people are not happy. God sent me on this assignment to teach people how they can write those exam of life in order for them to really be joyful and enjoy life. And God has been using this platform to transform a lot of lives. And I know that you are next in line for a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. And a lot of people are saying they don't know where I'm filming from. I live in the city of Vienna, Austria. I met my husband, I got married, and I came to live with him here to the glory of God. And God has sent me on this assignment. As you continue to join me on this platform, you're going to be enjoying the grace of God. You're going to be enjoying the favor of God. Your life will be beautiful. Your life will have color. Your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, I always say to you, it is my duty to make those declarations. It is your own duty to say amen and God's duty to confirm the words of my mouth. The Bible says it's the Lord that confirmed the words of his servant. And he is going to confirm every declaration I make on this platform because he is the one that sent me on this assignment. Someone also said to me, a member of the ULF, I said to you before, that ULF is an acronym for Understanding Life Family. That's it. Understanding Life Family, that is what it stands for. And if you are following me on social media, you are already a member of Understanding Life Family. And just know that you are going to be joyful in life. And you are going to enjoy life and make heaven. In the precious name of Jesus. They told me to share my video. I always share my video, but please endeavor to also share this video so that other people can learn and they can be blessed as well. I'm doing this class for free. I just want you to share the video as well. And together, we'll be affecting our world for good. Please inform your friends right now. Call everyone you know. Let them know that Understanding Life is on Facebook Live. It's going to be a blast today <laughs> on the head of the devil. And you're going to learn a lot. You know what I'm teaching you on this platform? I don't just come here and quote scriptures. I tell you issues of life so you can have a good understanding of how, how things work on earth so you can enjoy life. That's it. I actually started a series captioned application of knowledge and we have been looking at this because truth be told we don't have problem with knowledge but we have problem with application and that's why a lot of people are not having changes in their lives they learn so much but they will never put to practice thank you Tessie Bella <laughs> thank you so much for watching me thank you I appreciate you so much thank you 
for joining me. Thank you. I can see every one of you. Yeah. They don't put to practice what they are learning. And as a result of that, they are not having results in their life. I don't just come here to talk. I just, the Holy Spirit inspire me or want to teach the people. And a lot of people are struggling because they don't put to practice what they are learning. And that's what we've been looking at on this platform. You've heard over and over again. It is not right to abuse opportunity. It is not right to abuse privileges. It is not right. You've heard it over and over again. And you might say to me, how am I abusing opportunities? How am I abusing privileges? You are. You are. Maybe you were traveling on air. Or you went to one seminar. You met a governor. Or you met a, a business person. Someone that is well placed in the society. And the person gave you phone, his phone number. And now in the morning, you will call the person. In the afternoon, you're going to call him. In the evening, you're going to call him. You are abusing that privilege. It's a privilege for you to have that person's phone number. That's it. It's a privilege for you, for you to, for that person to be your friend. You are abusing that privilege. And you have heard it over and over again. Don't abuse privilege. Don't abuse opportunities. Don't. That's it. Don't. But you are not putting it to practice. And you're just disturbing the person. And the person says, what is my offense now? That I gave this person my phone number. Is that my offense? I didn't break your tumbler. I didn't tear your clothes. How come you're not allowing me to have sleep, to, to, to write, to sleep? I am not Macbeth that mother sleep. <laughs> so why can't I have rest? Because I gave you my phone number. You are abusing opportunity. You are abusing privilege. And the person blocks you. And you are saying, oh, every opportunity that comes my way, every relationship that comes my way doesn't last. You are the one that is not making it to last. Because you have heard it. When you went to that seminar, when you went to church, a friend brother have told you, or you read it in a book, don't abuse privilege. Don't abuse opportunities. That's just it. God bring those opportunities your way just to, just to change your level. But you're abusing it. That's what we are talking about on this platform. A young girl came into your life and is telling your uncle, ah, this is what I'm going through in my life. I see you as a big brother. Maybe you can help me. The next thing on your head is how you are going to sleep with that girl. Aren't you abusing privilege and opportunity? Just an opportunity for you to raise that girl in a godly way. You never can tell if God is going to use that girl to be a blessing to you tomorrow. That's the truth. You remember Esther. Esther was staying with Mordecai. And Esther was a slave. She was just there helping Mordecai. But Mordecai never knew that Esther was going to be his own savior. It was Esther that God used to deliver his people. That's the truth. You don't know what that girl is going to become tomorrow. No. And you're going to sleep and mess up that girl. That's it. Your uncle came to the village and said, oh, you're suffering. Let me bring you to city. He brought you, put you in that shop. What did you do? You stole all the money and wrecked the shop. Aren't you abusing privilege? You are abusing the opportunity to be great. That's what we are talking about. You are not helping yourself by abusing privilege and opportunity. Let me use something that every one of you can relate with. For instance, someone sent you a friend request and you confirmed the person on Facebook. And the next thing the person is doing, abusing the opportunity to be a friend though, is writing you, can you be my wife? I love you. I don't understand someone you've not met before because that person accepted you as a friend on Facebook. The next thing you're saying, I love you. I, do you love somebody you have not seen, you don't even know? Don't you even think? Sometimes I, I, I imagine, before you say you want to marry someone, there must be friendship, courtship before marriage. For you to somebody to accept you on Facebook as a friend. And the next thing you are telling the person, I love you, call me, I want to marry. For me, it's stupidity for excellence. That's it. Because you don't know this person. You are abusing opportunity. And listen to me, they can just block you. That's it. They block you and that's the end. You've lost that friendship. Probably God brought that person to change your level. Probably God brought that person to lift you up. Because God is not going to come from heaven. He's going to use people. 
The Bible says there's a friend that sticketh more than a brother. And that's the truth. But you used your attitude to just destroy that friendship. And you have heard it over and over again. Don't abuse opportunities. Don't abuse privileges. They took you. You went to that office. Instead of you to add value, you started stealing. And you were sacked. This is what we are talking about. You abused the opportunity given to you to serve that company. And you started stealing. Don't! And this is what we've been talking about on this platform. I will be looking at why is it that a lot of people, do you know, even someone that I know so dearly, she's a media person. She brought someone to come and teach her presentation. Do you know what this person did? This person went behind her and wanted to take her job. Abusing opportunity. Is that not what we're talking about? She can't, let me help you. You don't know how to present. Let me teach you. I've been in media for years. I'm a media guru. Let me teach you. She went behind her. If not for God, she would have just taken this. This is what I'm talking about. Abusing that opportunity. And that was how that friendship ended. Don't you know a lot of people that have blocked you on social media? They don't call you anymore. They, they call because you are disturbing them. Let me tell you, if you call somebody once, the person don't pick. It means the person is busy. Why are you disturbing the person? Morning, afternoon, night. No rest. You are abusing that opportunity. The person didn't do any bad for take, giving you phone. His number. That's what we are talking about. You met a governor. You met a business. Well placed in the society. Use your wisdom. God, God has brought so many people my way. I treasure the relationship. I value it. I don't abuse it. That's it. I don't disturb them. You don't need to disturb them. If God is going to use them for you, he will use them for you. So that's what we are talking about on this platform. And we're looking at why is it that a lot of people find it difficult to put to practice those things they are learning. Why can't they apply that knowledge to their life so that their life can be good? And I gave four reasons. And today, I'm just going to give one more reason. And then I'll just dive into the benefits of application of knowledge. I'll dive into that as soon as I give you just one more reason. Why a lot of people learn so much, read so much, they do nothing with it. The fifth reason that I'm going to talk about today is unbelief. That's it. Unbelief. The Bible speaking, saying that, that if you believe in him, whatever you desire, you are going to have it. Luke 1 verse 45. It's a blessed that she that believed it, there's going to be a performance. That is the blessings of God comes when you begin to believe and put to practice those things you're learning. That's it. When you begin to put to practice those things, blessed the she that believe it. For there shall be a performance of those things that were told her. That is it. Unbelief. Unbelief. They don't believe. If you believe what the Bible says, that death and life lies in the tongue. You won't use your mouth to insult your children. You will not. You don't believe it. That's why. You think you don't. Let me tell you, words don't die. Your life will go in the direction of your thought and your words. So when you look at that child and says you are stupid, the child grows up to be stupid. You said it with your mouth. But you've heard it. That death, the power of death and life lies in the tongue. That is it. But you did not believe it. You didn't believe it. And that is why you can even insult any little thing say, I'm dead. Even if the Bible has said that we're going to live 120 years. If you use your mouth to be calling death, it will come. But you know all these things. You are not putting them to practice. That's what we've been talking on this platform. And you look at that child and you say you are good for nothing. Let me tell you something. I, I listened to the story of my Moreau. Of blessed memory. He said when he was very young. And then he was in school. His teacher used to say to him. You are not. You are good for nothing. You black monkey. Nothing good can come out of your life. Those walls. We are really affecting him. And he was an F student. The last in class. And he said he now started reading the Bible. And he saw how that God said you are the head. And not the tail. He saw how God said that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. And then those words started affecting his life. Joy or musk. 
I really can see every one of you, but sometimes I just need to flow. Thank you, Nonso Chenche. Thank you for watching me again today. Thank you. Really good. I wash. I appreciate you. And those words were really affecting him. And he said to himself, if God has said that I am the head and not the tail, I am above and not beneath, then I'm going to be above this student. And those words affected him for good. According to his testimony, he said he became the best in the class. That's what the power of words. You know all these things, but what, I'm not here to teach you how to use your words. I'm here to tell you to put them to practice because they work. Don't look at yourself and say, I'm not good for it. You don't love yourself. If you love yourself, you don't say such words. Put them to practice. So one of the reasons a lot of people don't put to practice what they're learning, they don't apply knowledge to their life, is unbelief. That's it. Haven't you heard? You that is watching me right now, or probably anyone that is going to watch the video afterwards, you've heard it. World Health Organization said it. He said that smoking is dangerous. To your health you've held it you but you refuse to stop smoking because you don't believe that it's really dangerous to your health too you don't if you do why are you still smoking that's what we are talking on on this platform and you say to yourself it doesn't matter you you smoke you go and take tom tom listen to me that tom tom is not going to stop the torment that you're going to get from smoking you better stop it because you've heard it and it's not the devil that is going to give you cancer or whatever. It's those that smoking and all of those things you are doing. That is the reason that your health is affected. That's what we're talking on this plan. I'm not here to tell you how to smoke. I'm only telling you that you know it already. And I only want you to put it to practice. That's what I'm by maybe in another two or three weeks, I'll be done with this series. I'll come with another addiction. I'll come with another subject of discussion. That's it. So you know all of these things. Put them to practice. And then you see that your life will be beautiful. If you, you've heard it and you don't put it to practice, how do you expect to have changes? It's not possible. Except like you want to cut corners. It's not possible. So that's what I've been talking on this platform. I've just given you the fifth reason. Um, believe. That's why a lot of people don't. They don't believe it. They just feel, mm, I better forget it. All those things you read in the Bible, they, they don't work. They work. That's it. They work. And now I just want to go into the benefit of application of knowledge. And then I will tell you all of you, you know, this stuff I, I tell people how to manage situations. And then I will tell all of, all of you with issues of application of knowledge. I will tell you what you are going to do. You will see. You will see that your life will be beautiful. That's one of my secrets. I learn so much and I put to practice. When I see people I value, I appreciate. I, you know, I just watch them. I, I, I just listen to them. I try to pattern my life after them. And I'm enjoying life today. I am here to teach you for free. God sent me. And I say to every one of you, if you listen to me on this platform, hear me. You are going to enjoy life. And secondly, you are going to make heaven. That's it. That's it. I'm enjoying life and I'm on my, on my way to making heaven. And not now when I'm very old and I have wisdom for living. Some of the wisdom I have, I didn't get, I didn't read, read it from book. I got it directly from Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost dictating to me how I'm going to live my life. And it's really helping me. I'm not stranded. You just know me from a five. You are close to me. You know that I'm really having the best of time. I'm enjoying my life. And I'm not doing this for money. If I say God has not blessed me, then I'm lying. He has helped me in life. All to his glory. So that's, that's it. I'm talking about the benefits. Because I want your life to be good. When I see people struggle, so I'm, I'll be asking myself, with all of this knowledge... You know, why are you struggling? Even if you are a, you that is a minister, you have a father in the Lord. He's telling you what to do. If you don't listen to him, your church won't grow. You have results. There's something that father in the Lord is doing that you need to also do. Don't go to a minister's conference just to go and make friends. Go there with an intention to have a change of story. Because if you really pattern your life after your father in the Lord, I have mine, and do whatever he does, you will see results in your church. You will see results. You know what leadership is all about. They've told you. Leadership is influence. Father in the Lord, I have is influencing people. And that's why people are following him. You also think of how you too, how you will influence, how you make their life better. Follow your father and listen to what he's telling you. Don't go to a minister's conference and be thinking of, oh, how I'm going to get this connection. Connection comes from God. That's the God can use anybody. They are just channel. God remains the socks. That's it. My life is a weakness. 
that God is the source. God is he, he sends people to you. There's just channel, but he uses them to be a blessing to you. So that's what we are saying. I want to look at the benefits before I shut down for today because I still have another engagement for today. Yes, one of the benefits of application of knowledge is good health. Good health. That's what see people you've held it that your diet can affect your health. That's even if you are a bishop. If you don't, if you just eat junk and you don't care, you will be sick and die. A lot have gone like that. Your diet can affect your health. You've held it. So it is time for you to begin to watch those things you eat. You've held it when you're 40. Don't take beef anymore. No, you are still taking it. But you know already. This one I'm really particular. Because the Holy Ghost, I was just thinking. And the Holy Ghost was telling me, it's not knowledge problem. It's application problem. It's not knowledge problem. It's application problem. You know, and then I started teaching, you know, people how to put to practice those things they've learned. Good health. That is what you gain when you read those books on health. You go for that health seminar and you put them to practice. You will see a lot of people, they don't know that dehydration is not good for their health. They don't know. And they say to you, uh, are you sure? That's it all. They've told you, take two liters of water. You know, but you're not doing it. And that's why you're, not, you're having health issues. Dehydration. Listen to me. A well-hydrated body. A well oxygenated body, no sickness can survive in that body. Let me tell you my testimony, and that's what I'm going to use to close for today. I used to be very tired. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was used to be very tired, even at work. When it's 12 noon, I said to my colleague, I'm so tired. But you're strong. How come? <laughs> Why are you doing it? And she just said to me, I should be taking coffee. The coffee is very good. If I take coffee, I'll be very strong. You know, here. They like it a lot. And I said, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't like coffee. I don't take coffee, but I don't know why I'm so, I'm always tired. What is behind this tiredness? And I went to see my doctor and the doctor said to me, hey, you don't have iron. I said, really? And he said, because you don't eat meat. You don't, you don't eat beef. And me as a person, I like fish. I don't, I don't like to eat meat. <laughs> I don't like it, you know. And she, he said to me, and I walked out of that place and I said to myself, I don't think there are other fruits and vegetables, you know, that contains iron. It's not only I don't need to start eating beef or meat for me to have iron. I went into research, you know, even the drugs the doctor gave me, it didn't even work. I went into research and then I found out that there are fruits and vegetables that I can be taking and I'll have iron. Believe me honestly, I am as strong as a stone. People look at me. <laughs> they say, you look very young. I tell you, I'm not a baby. But I take good care of myself. And I started eating those fruits and vegetables. And all of a sudden, I became so strong. That's what I'm talking about. All of the things you are learning, put them to practice. I've told you right now, now what the fifth reason why a lot of people don't put to practice what they're learning is unbelief. And I've said that one of the benefits of, you know, uh, application of knowledge is good health. That's what happened to me. Anything I'm telling you on this platform and the things I do, I don't just talk. I walk the talk. I walk the talk. Because if I also just talk and not put I will not. I also will not see results. So that is it. The benefit, good health. And that's it. That's why I'm going to stop for today. I'm really working with time. Ensure you put all of those things you are learning on this platform. And as you do, you will see your life. You will see your life. You'll just be going forward. You'll be advancing. You will be struggling. You'll be wondering. Like I wonder today when I see people go through a lot, I'm wondering. With all of this knowledge available, you're not putting into practice and you're not having results. And when they see people who are putting into practice, they are envious of those people. Those people are paying price. They're taking responsibility. That's what they're doing. So that's what I'm going to stop for today. And uh, I'm going to call my number. Someone said to me that he, he couldn't get my number. So I'm going to call my number. And all of you, you're asking me, oh, how can I? Please send me messages. Send me. When I'm less busy, I'm going to respond to your message. A lot of people do send me. And you can, some of you, you're watching me now. You know, I do respond to messages. Send me. I get a lot. 
everything but calls. Don't call me because I might not have time to take your calls. And if I don't have time to take your calls, you think, oh, maybe I don't want to talk talk with you. It's not like that. I'm too busy. I don't really have the, the time. A lot of things are beckoning for my attention. So please just send me. I'm on Facebook Messenger. Send me message on Facebook Messenger on any issue of concern in your life. I talk about the word of God. I talk about issues of life. I teach people if you have challenges, tell me. I'll, I'll, like I was telling a man, people are really getting results. I tell them what to do and they, they write me back. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate this working. It will work. If you put it to practice, it will work. So I'm just going to call my number right now. And then I'll call my uh, email address. You can also send me a message on email. You can email me, tell me whatever you want to tell me and I'll respond to you. So my number is plus four, three, six, eight, eight. Six four two six nine nine eight four. But WhatsApp message only. WhatsApp message. WhatsApp message only. All right. I'm gonna call it again. And if you if you still cannot get it, please go to my Facebook. Go to my. You will see everything is there. Go to my cover photo. My details. Everything is there. You see it there. All right. I'm gonna call again for the last time. Plus four three. 688-642-699-84. That's my phone number. And I'm just going to uh, call my email address also in case you want to send me an email. Understanding life with favor at gmail.com. That's my email address. Understanding life with favor at gmail.com dot com a lot of people god is using this platform to bless them ah the testimonies are humbling they're humbling me i myself i'm even surprised you know less than a month that i'm on, okay i'm actually one month today on facebook <laughs> the crowd i can't even manage them you know coming in and you know god is blessing them so just try send me an email let me know if i'm blessing you if you have any contribution just send it to me and i will reply you but no calls because i might not have the time to take your calls i'm really really busy thank you so much until i come your way next week 6 p.m on the dot never forget this if you are part of this family you are going to be enjoying life and you're going to have wisdom for living and you're going to make heaven that's really my goal that's why i came on social media to make you understand life. Wisdom for living. You will have wisdom for living. <laughs> you will enjoy life and you're going to make heaven. God bless you, Rigood. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Bye-bye. And all the best. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.